This poorly textured, blocky man's only goal in life is to collide with other objects. And you can tell when he collides because he says, Booyah! Booyah! So we've got some ground, he's a rigid body, we've got an audio stream player, and of course a camera so we can see what's going on. First thing we're going to do is put a script on the rigid body. I'm just going to call this the Booyah! script. Then we're actually going to click back onto the rigid body, go to node, signals, and then double click body entered. Then just connect that to the script. While we're here, I'm also gonna click on the audio stream player and add the finished signal to our script. And this is probably the most important step. Uh, go back to the rigid body, go to its inspector, and then turn contact reported to at least one, and then turn contact monitor to on. All right, back to the script. So just to quickly test this out, under on rigid body entered, we can just set the audio stream player to play. Oh yeah. And then it works perfectly and we're totally done, right? Oh, yeah. eh, not exactly. Sometimes it takes this rigid body a little while to settle down, and in the meantime, he's just going to be screaming booyah like way too much. So to fix that, back on the script, we're going to add a variable. It should probably be called like velocity or something, but I'm going to call it the booyah factor. And for now, we're just going to set that to one. Next, we're going to add an if statement above play. If the absolute value of the rigid body's dot linear velocity dot x is greater than the booyah factor, then we're gonna play. So we have to do this for x, y, and z, and we have to split them up with ors. Basically, if the absolute value of x or z or y is greater than the booyah factor, then we're gonna play. So it kind of makes an ugly line of code, and there's probably a much cleaner way to do it, but this is what worked for me. So let's try it. Booyah. Okay, so one doesn't seem very different. Let's try three. Booyah. Awesome, he only did it once. So just as a little bonus, I just wanted to make him open and close his mouth. So I made a couple variables, uh, just the open and close textures, and preloaded them. Then after the audio plays, we're gonna get the mesh instance of the rigid body, and then get the surface material zero, and then set the albedo texture to the open variable that we just made. And then underneath the audio stream player finished function, we're gonna put the exact same thing, except this time we're gonna close the mouth. Then we're just gonna make our little guy tumble down and say booyah a whole bunch. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And there you have it. I hope this was useful for somebody who needed to put audio on a collision. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.